What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Rogue. We're going to continue with this series. Thank you guys so much for supporting the first episode. We're moving on to the second episode now, and it seems like things are about to go down. It's getting good. So let's continue. I think we need to make way to our ship. This game is really impressing me so far. It's good. I wasn't expecting it to be good. I was going to play Unity before this game because I thought that this game wasn't going to be that great. I needed something that was going to wow me. And uh, I didn't think this game was going to be it. But it's doing that so far. So far, so good. Let's sail. We need to go this way. We could probably fast travel there, but it'd probably be good to grind a little with our ship. Get some materials. Oh, there's some wind. There's some loot. I wish the loot was more. Like, I know they need to encourage you to fight ships, but the loot that just like appears on the water, it'd be so nice if it was like at least like a hundred wood here and there or a hundred metal, something more than just six. Should we just take that out? Nice. Can we loot it? Or is that a no-go? I guess not. I'm going to go over here, though. There's a treasure chest. I want to go ahead and thank you guys for supporting. I know I said that in the beginning of the episode, but you guys have really allowed me to grow as a creator, not just subscriber wise or view count wise, but also quality wise and figure out what people are really looking for in playthroughs in 2024 and 2023 back then. Um, it seems like you guys really enjoy just being on the experience with me from start to finish. Even if I'm not doing the funnest stuff on screen at the time, you still want to see it, which is awesome because five, six, seven years ago, it wasn't like that. I feel like people didn't want to see that kind of stuff. They didn't want to see all the grinding and such, but I guess you guys are just really invested that much which i appreciate i'm glad you guys are so i'm learning pretty much every playthrough like what i should keep in and what i should take out i think in this playthrough i'm really going to keep in as much as possible because i've been doing that with red dead re recently and it's been working out nicely like people have really enjoyed it Nobody say there's nobody saying like, oh, this is boring or I don't want to see this. So I'm going to try to do that with the Assassin's Creed games as much as possible. There is some stuff that just isn't fun to watch. I will admit, but you no, know, for the most part, I think uh, you guys want to see a good amount of things. Hey, yo, check this out. OK, pumpkins. Sleepy Hollow? Like the Sleepy Hollow I'm thinking about? Like from the movies? Let's get these fragments. The world in this game is so interesting. Alright, uh... No, that's not gonna work. That reminds me of like Batman. Like using a grappling hook. Oh, you can't... Ah, 
I didn't know you could do that. That's cool. Oh, this is a restricted area. Oops. I'm just going to get this real quick. That was kind of a dumb restricted area. Let's see. Let's go over here. Get the Templar map. Oh, that's so cool. There's some wolves out here, but I think I've fought enough wolves. I'll fight this one real quick. I've skinned a lot of them. Oh, you guys don't want me to be in here? Oops. Sorry. I need that map, though. A good day's hunting. I haven't collected any of the treasures yet, but I will soon. We have seasoned veterans among our ranks here, and yet where do these support? Doesn't sound like his. Footsteps work sometimes. Like, I can't hear any footsteps happening, depending on what he's running on. wonder if that's a PC glitch or what. It does, like, slightly kill the immersion a little bit. We can get it. Oh, it flew away. Dang it. Okay. Well. Chewing tobacco box. Oh, no. We need to go that way. That's where the shanty is, but it's gone now. So let's start yeah. this mission. Oh, there's hope. You're late. The sky is getting temperamental. That's not the only thing, is it? Uh, Master Franklin, sir. My name is Shay and this is my associate Hope. <laughs> the way he William just looked Johnson at them. told us to give you these. Ah. Thank you, but I'm afraid I must delay my experiment. Delay it? Why? The army confiscated my lightning rods. They are essential to conducting the electricity. I need to vivify your box. Master Johnson would not want you to have to wait. Perhaps there is something you can do then. Soldiers have been hauling things away all day. Perhaps they could tell you where they've taken my lightning rods so you could get them back. At your service, sir. Begin your investigation at the market near the docks. I will stay here and help with the preparations. That's interesting. We can help out this Ben Frank again. I can barely conduct my research anymore. Everyone is having never confiscated. Yes. Get it, get it, get it. They're confiscating metal. That's not cool. I know how to use Eagle Vision game. I know. <laughs> I like how he just dropped his lantern like that.
kind of illegal. Oh, it's over there. Good. This is heavy. The weather is getting worse. You know where the warehouse is, soldier. I sir. No. <laughs> bad, 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 bad. Okay, he's going this way. I'm sure you're seeing things, but I'll take a butcher's. It reminds me of home. This place might. stuck in Benjamin Franklin's garden. I keep well clear of that place. They say that man messes with lightning. Speaking of lightning, I reckon there's a storm coming. Aye. Let's hope she demures until we're off duty. Hey, darling. You up for a fine? Sure, if you bring your mates. If you bring your mates. Oh. Um. Put this guy to sleep. I feel like the controls for aiming is a lot better. Is that the last of it? Yes, it is, sir. Good. Put it with the rest. Loot the rods. Oh, they're in that barn over there. Get rid of that. Just in case. Gonna run in here, grab it. I wonder what Master Franklin plans to do with these rods. The storm's getting worse. Better hurry back to Franklin. All right, we did pretty good. Nice. Let's just climb up this tree. It says, "Do not swim." Just gonna jump across, so we're not gonna have to swim. Yay! We made it. A selection of coin Ooh, that lightning! Shay, thank goodness! Quick! Help me with the rods! Here we go. Let's see if this works. Cool how they helped Ben create electricity. It's a map. Where is that? Portugal. Lisbon, I'd stake my life on it. Oh my god. Make yourself scarce, Shay. The militia will be here any minute. I'm sure they will have questions. 
What about you? I'm a devoted housekeeper. Right. The map for the pieces of Eden? We didn't get detected. We didn't swim. Perfect. Where was there a part we could swim? Was there water? I guess that little creek or river that we ran across. Why would you swim in there? How far away is that from here? I hope that's not the last time we see Ben Frank. Yeah, I guess this would be the only part you could swim on. Stop you. Be quiet. I just want your chest. Let's see what I could buy in here. I don't have anything. No. Later then. Okay, we need to go straight. Yeah. Straight and it should be turning right. And then it'll be on our left. Oh, is there going to be ships ahead? I see a red circle. Yep. Looks like it. Oh, just small ones, though. Can't wait to fight big ships again. At least they made ship fighting a little bit more interesting with the little machine gun that you have on the side. That's so cool. It shoots cannons so rapidly. Shooting onto other ships is still glitchy as all heck though. But it looks like they gave you more cannonballs this time around. So they were working on this game as they were working on Assassin's Creed 4, right? Because this game came out like right after 4. And then they dropped a unity on the same day. Dang. It had to be nuts to be a fan back then. You were picking up two games on the same day then? I get why they did that though. Because they probably didn't want to make unity for the All Xbox 360. Sail, sail. But then they still wanted that Xbox 360 money. Because a lot of people had Xbox 360s and PS3s at that time. So they didn't want to completely abandon that gen and go completely to the new gen. But at the same time, they didn't want to ruin Unity's development by creating a Xbox 360 version of it too. Which I guess it could have hindered it, but at the same time, it's like they focused on unity 
being on PS4 and Xbox One, but the game still released super buggy and not good on release day. I do remember a lot of fans like not being happy with Assassin's Creed back then. Oh, we were here before. Oh, but I can go up here. Where's this chest at? Oh, it's definitely below me. But I want that fragment. Perfect. The rain looks really good in this game. Oh, we should read about Sleepy Hollow, because... Well, what can I craft? Um, nothing that I want. Okay. That's available in the shop. I mean, it would be nice to get a better sword. We should get one soon. Anyways, back to the databases. Sleepy Hollow. The exact date of Europeans settling the land is unknown, but the Dutch fought against local natives in the early days of New Netherlands. In 1655, a Dutch colonist established a document that referred to the area as Sleepershaven, or literally Sleeper's Haven. In 1664, the British took over the colony and renamed it New York. The village would be officially incorporated as North Tarrytown in the 19th century. The Angel angelic sized version of this name did not appear until later and was not used as the town's proper name until centuries later. The village is best known as the setting of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving. That's what I'm familiar with. Irving's story was successful enough to get North Terrytown to change its name to Sleepy Hollow in 1996, but not enough to make anyone named Ichabod attractive or popular. Yeah, I've never heard of that name. What's up, Hope? And Achilles! Lisbon is near as large as London or Paris. Are you sure you can find this one place? So it clear as day, Hope. It's a convent. Right close by the harbor. I might have visited the sisters once or twice. Given your present knowledge of the site, this duty falls upon you. You understand what must be done? Find the Precursor Temple and retrieve the Peace of Eden. Finally obtained a ship for crossing the ocean. Have no worries. I will keep the Morrigan safe in New York. Thank you. Liam and I will leave straight away. Liam is unavailable at present. Your crew and ship await. Be careful, Shay. Pieces of Eden are powerful relics. All right, hopefully things go smoothly. He sailed by himself to Portugal? Feast of all saints. What a sight. And here I am, looking for a relic from the time before Adam and Eve. <laughs> Strange days indeed. Benedictus est, Domine, Deus Universi, quia de tua largitate accepimus vinum. Uotibi offerimus 
Fructum vitis et operis manum hominum. Ex quo nobis diet potus espiritalis. Ah, uh, this is bringing me back to the good old days. Lisbon. During the Age of Discovery, Lisbon launched many expeditions, among them Vasco da Gama's journey to India in 1497. By the 16th century, Lisbon was a hub for commerce with Africa, India, and Brazil, doing trade in spices, slaves, sugar, and textiles. By the early 18th century, gold from Brazil allowed King John V to transform the city into one of the largest cities in Europe. Fun fact, some of da Gama's expeditions to India were actually Templar plots to draw out assassins in Calcutt. Oh. Lisbon also had a history of earthquakes. There were at least 16 recorded in the three centuries before the one in 1755. But the 1755 earthquake was so damaging that it inspired the French philosopher Voltaire to write a long poem about the tragedy. When has poetry ever improved anything? Answer, never. Poetry is for the weak. Okay. <laughs> That's supposed to be funny. I don't agree with that. What is that? Do I need to go up? I see they're trying to continue on with like those snappy quips that Sean had, but it's not as funny. <laughs> like at all, like it's, it's, it's pretty bad. Yeah, this brings me back to the Assassin's Creed 2 days, baby. Dang, we haven't done this in a long time. Okay, we need to go over there. And then there's one up there. Dang. I missed these puzzles. This makes me want to play Prince of Persia. I've never played those games. I want to play them. My uncle loved those games. I would watch him play them sometimes. And those games are very puzzle heavy, so you get stuck a lot. Don't tell anybody, but Ubisoft actually sent me the new Prince of Persia game that I still haven't played yet, but I should be playing, but, and they sent it to me early. They sent it to me like two weeks early, and I still haven't played it. That would be the first time I ever play a Prince of Persia game, so I should play it. I need to. I just haven't had the time. It caught me at a bad time where I was finishing Batman and also Assassin's Creed 4. So I was like, I can't drop everything what I'm doing just to play Prince of Persia right now for you guys. Sorry, but I love you, Ubisoft. I don't like your launcher, though, for your games. It's not good. All right, how do we get over there? But yeah, that Prince of Persia game I've been wanting to play for a while. It's been on my uh, my radar for a minute. So it was really a huge surprise when Ubisoft was like, hey, we want you to play it. I didn't even ask. It came out of nowhere. I think they've been stalking my channel ever since I played uh, Assassin's Creed 2. Companies do that. It's really, in it's really interesting. Oh, wait, look at this. Oh, I see. I don't even know if that's really the correct way to do it, but I did it. That should be all of them. I'm gonna jump this way. Nobody noticed me. They don't notice me over here, like jumping around and doing all this weird climbing. They are tuned in to church right now and praying. This must be it. The precursor site. Whoa, look at this. 
What do we have here? Whoa! Yeah, this this architecture is very familiar. Whoa. What? It just dissolved. Booby trap. You got to get out of there. Is an earthquake? Whoa, yeah, it's like an actual earthquake. Whoa. Shay, what did you do? Holy. Did Shay do that? Yo, this place is completely demolished. There's no way. Holy. Move. Whoa, 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 whoa. I cannot believe this. Can I go through there? Oh, I feel bad for all of the civilians. Oh my God. That's a lot of destruction. Go, 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 go. Keep moving forward, it said. Jeez. This must have been one of the earthquakes that um the animus entry was saying. Jeez. Bro, if that piece of Eden did this, it literally destroyed a whole city. Where can you even run to? Earthquakes are scary, man. I would never want to be in one. I say that as I'm in a state that's like the most prone to earthquakes. I just pray to God every day that <laughs> there's no earthquake. Oh, the parkour was nice there. That's the first time we've done that. Go, 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 swing. Nice. Go up. That reminded me of Revelations. This is a long earthquake. They're usually not this long. Dude, get out of there. Bro, that's gotta be the worst earthquake ever. How could God do this to them? God had nothing to do with this. It was. It was the piece of Eden. Shay. That's terrible. Oh, man. So what's the next city you want me to smite? What happened in Haiti happened in Portugal. A great earthquake, 
Thou sits dead next to your top to find your script! This cannot be. Jay, a person cannot start an earthquake! A person meddling with these precursor machines could! You saw the box, Hope. The temple was filled to bursting with that kind of power! You made me slaughter innocents! How dare you! You defend him? Achilles sent me in there like Machandal sent his man in Haiti. What the he hell's knew. going on? Stop this! The operation was delicate. Perhaps you... You are shifting the Earth itself. Who are you to decide what city falls next? Get him out of here. Liam is a fool if he thinks wow. I'll leave his being. Achilles cannot be trusted. He must never find another precursor temple. I don't care that he's mentor, or that his family is dead. There's no excuse for this level of madness. I didn't even make the connection, but he's not wrong. Achilles did send him. He knew. He knew that that would happen. Wow. Only one thing to do. Oh, is this when we go against the assassins now? I just hear a whistle. I didn't do that whistle. There was somebody in that window right there. Oh. I don't see anybody though. Ooh, this is spooky. So this is what this place looked like at one point. Oh wait. I remember this. I just heard somebody walk. Oh, it's upstairs. Oh, heck no. This is a horror game. Wait, what the heck? He acts like Achilles can't hear him. Turning back now. Uh oh. I had such hopes for you, Shay. Achilles. I have to do this. And what is it you're doing exactly? Stealing from your brothers. Betraying me. Someone must make amends. Make amends. You have no idea what you're doing. The future of the whole continent, maybe the whole world, is tied up in that manuscript. Perhaps. But we don't have the right to decide that future. True. The right? We have the responsibility! We are responsible for killing innocents and destroying cities. This mad grab for power. It ends now. I will not let you destroy everything we have built! What? Achilles, what the heck? Jeez. Assassins, stop him. Stop Shay. No way. I lost all respect for Achilles now. Jeez, mortars, bro. It's this serious? Jeez. 
Jeez. Whoa. We got smoke bombs. You won't hinder our plans. <gasps> no hope. Have you gone mad? Stop. Let's have a word. No. You guys are horrible. What the heck happened to the assassins? Reason, this isn't a this is a corrupt part of the assassins right here oh heck no i'm out haven't i taught you anything yeah you taught me how corrupt you are you and your friends the colonial assassins suck what the heck Connor was the best thing to come out of this place. And that's not until later. That's enough. Give back the manuscript, Shay. I'm sure Achilles. I cannot. I will not let this happen again. Don't. All those souls lost. One more hardly matters. No. Ah. <gasps> oh. What is this? A glitch in the memories. There seems to be more data. Okay, Numskull. I can't pull you out of the chair right now. You'll just have to see this through. This is bizarre. These memories seem to take place some 20 years after the one we just saw. Are you certain? Possibly. 20 years? This means... Shay must have survived that fall. If he is the man I believe him to be, then he has. Keep going. The data is fragmented. This memory is incomplete. Let me see what I can do. Listen up. We need to find out what Shay's up to. This memory's gonna look a little rough. But I'm like 90% sure sequencing this memory won't kill you. I mean, there's always been that, like, gray area where... Are what assassins right. doing right? Don't know where she is or what he's doing there. Are they better than Templars? I want to know the reason Shay came to this. But place. we're actually like really Heard seeing that here that they're not. Hey, this is just straight up corrupt. I mean, even in the first game, also they were corrupt too, and Altair had to find that out. But um, yeah, that's not good. And then Altair had his own problems when he was creating his own. When he continued the assassins. <laughs> Locate the criminals. Oop. Can I go down? I like how it's all glitched here. That's kind of cool. Where are they at? Et alors, oh, here they are. Vous l'avez trouvé? Ouais, Benjamin Franklin est à Notre-Dame. Si on se magne, on devrait le rattraper. Arrêtez de vous branler! Allons-y! Benjamin Franklin. That's who Shay is after. Franklin traveled to England. What? And that guy said Notre Dame. He's in Paris. Shay must be in Paris. Time to show me what you got. Eliminate the threat. Protect Franklin. Oh, the parkour is not on my side right now. What? Oh, he shot me straight up. Point blank. 
can't use my pistols though. Oh, they used my, okay. Tricky. You can get him. You can get him. Get him, Shay. Yes. Oh, we're taking out assassins out here. Let's get him. Woo. That was fire. Help! Somebody help! There's Ben. Let's help out Ben. What happened? That's all the data we have. We can't explore this memory further. Dang. For now. Shay couldn't have died, then appeared in France 20 years later. We're missing something. Shay's memories are scattered in chunks throughout the cloud. The servers are messed up from the virus, so we can't access all of Shay's life at once. Yeah, that time skip is crazy. 20 years. Otzelberg. You'll find him squatting in one of the offices. Otzelberg. Alright, I guess we're walking around the office again. But thankfully, we have a map. I'm bored out of my skull. But orders are orders, and my orders are to stand right here. Oh, well, there he is right there. Alright, let's talk to him. Shay Cormac is an assassin. But he is unlike the ones you have used for your entertainment products in the past. I believe Shay may be the most important assassin who ever lived. Your research will help me achieve something I have wanted for a very long time. Shay's story may have something to offer you as well. to get to the next chunk of Shade's memories. Excellent. I'm gonna need the numbskull back if we're gonna proceed. Your next task is clear. But please reflect on what we have discussed. Will do. Can I walk around here? I can't let get you over here. here. I suggest you move along. I'm coming, I'm coming. Wait, what's over here? I think we already got what was in here, right? Yeah, we can't even go in here. I got tired of waiting for Melanie's stupid repair crew, so I got this piece of shit working well enough to get you to the lobby and back. I'll get your animus prepped while you're downstairs. I've added the location to the next server on your map. Get going. Sounds good. Lobby. Shit! I forgot. The server is behind a level one security lock. I have granted you level one security clearance. I trust there will be no further delays. Great. Now you can get into the server room. Once you restore the server. Oops. Cut her off. My bad. Melanie. This is to Jean. Triumph of the Borgias. I think focusing on his dysfunctional family life is the wrong track to take. I've modified your initial pitch, and I was just going for something like this. Rodrigo Borgias' quest to reform the irrational ex excesses and corruptions of the Catholic Church from its highest office, the papacy, experienced firsthand his rise, his reforms, and his unlikely death. The program itself is top-notch, though. Great work. Give my best to your team. Melanie. I love how they write characters in games like they try to like make them use like cuss words and stuff all the time. I guess it's supposed to be funny or something. I don't know. Like <laughs> the Felipe from Melanie Giovanni Borgia. So if I'm reading your reports properly, you're saying Giovanni Borgia was born deformed, miraculously survived, but frequently hallucinated about past lives 
and associated with some of the biggest occultists of the Renaissance. That's amazing. Our last Supernatural movie, They Walk Among Us, was met with really mediocre reviews, I bet. If we can use these genetic memories to start a new occult thriller franchise, we might be able to win back some of those disgruntled fans. All points ready. Begin. Go, go, go! Who are you? Don't you touch her! Oh, for God's sake, restrain him! You, give me the child. Oh, shush now. You're all right. Elena! Calm down, Mr. Berg. I promise you I won't hurt your daughter. Who he are you? He took his daughter? My name is Warren Vidic. I work for Abstergo Industries. You quit the Uti Yaga Regiment and became a freelance mercenary in order to afford better care for Elena's cystic fibrosis. She has cystic fibrosis? Oh, no. How's that working out for you? Arkele! I have an offer for you. I don't work for people I don't know. It's not that kind of offer. I'm going to remove an item from my pocket. What is that? This little pill? <laughs> it's actually for her. Go on, little one. Have some medicine. Stop! I don't think that's good. <gasps> there now. Isn't that better? <laughs> this pill will cure her. It isn't on the market, but it can be yours if you agree to participate in a little training program I put together. What does Abstergo need with someone like me? Oh, you won't be working for Abstergo. However, if you perform, Abstergo could work for you. I want one thing before I agree. Name it. That one there, he upset my daughter. I understand. Gentlemen, release Mr. Berg. Uh-oh. That's not going to be good. Jenkins, give him your gun. Oh, what? no. Now. Yes, sir. Satisfied? It's a start. Jeez. These, both of these guys are horrible people. Man, that... Him mentioning cystic fibrosis just kind of triggered me, Loki, just because I lost a friend, a really good friend, a few years ago due to cystic fibrosis. And he was one of those online friends, right? I never met him in person. And he was just really cool. He loved video games, man. We would always talk about like different video games. And he was always buying like the newest game. And, you know, he was in and out of the hospital 24 7 such a good person such a like caring sweet always thought of everyone always wanted to say hi to you send you things and stuff like that and it's just really sad to see that he could never be healthy you know he could never like live his life the way that he wanted to but the little times that you would see him out of the hospital you know him playing video games and stuff it was really nice, you know? I would play NBA 2K with him sometimes and other games, and that just makes me really sad. Great job, Numskull. Data we have is pretty raw, but it's enough to move forward. Get back up here, double time. I do think he liked Assassin's Creed. Also clears the virus with some of the other systems. Which is kind of ironic. You are making excellent progress. I am eager to see what Shay will show us next. Level one clearance will also let you into some of the other parts of the building as well. If you need to stretch your legs in between animus sessions. That sounds good. All right, y'all, I'm tearing up a little bit. That just kind of like reminded me of him. You know, people like that you miss, you know, and you don't think about them all the time, but you're reminded of them every once in a while, you know?
Do you care to explain what happened in Paris? Gavin Banks led a team of assassins to your laboratory and destroyed it. That lab was supposed to be completely off the grid. How did they find it? Banks is a known associate of Sean Hastings and Rebecca Crane, who have infiltrated Abstergo before. He is also not your typical assassin brawler. Mm. He follows information. They found a way to access your Helix servers. Nothing is off the grid anymore. That facility nope. was dedicated to studying the sage we recovered from Montreal last year. If you had informed me of its existence, Sigma team could have protected your interests. Did you engage Bank's team? Sorkin and I tracked them from Paris to La Rochelle, where their ship was waiting for them. We fought, but we were outnumbered. Sorkin was stabbed seven times by an Jeez. assassin we have identified as Galina Voronina. And you let them get away? Let's be very clear. I was trained to hunt and kill assassins. It was you who disbanded my team and sent me on a fool's errand across the surface of the earth. <laughs> I warned you this would happen. You know what? I can admit when I'm wrong. You have my permission to reform Sigma team. I need DaCosta back. Impossible. She's still in Montreal. Unacceptable. I've apologized for my oversight, Berg, but don't push me. The fact is, we need to find new sages. Alvero Grammatica tells me that Melanie LeMay has a few promising leads in Montreal. When will DaCosta be finished? She's ahead of schedule on security upgrades and firewalls, but Helix is a target for assassins, erudito, and the first civilization consciousness. Mm. So, there have been some setbacks. Is the building physically secure? There's security on site. Send me that. Oh? I thought you were too good to be wasted on such trivial matters. I wanted to cast her back on my team, and if that building is a target, I need to make sure she's looked after. I will also improve their security in my own way. Very well, I'll start preparing the necessary documents. Like DaCosta, you'll be a consultant from Abstergo Industries, there to help bring them up to speed on some new policies. In the meantime, send some extra agents to Paris. I suspect there may still be assassins lurking there. Oh, I can't go in here either. The camera in there. She's like fixing it or something. What's down this way? I don't think anything, right? Oh, there are computers down here. But I don't have clearance. So we'll have to get them eventually. They're doing a lot of maintenance down here. Sean's not here anymore. All right, let's go back up. Are we going back into the Animus now? Yeah, I think so. I was just seeing if she gave us any more clearance. So this was right after Shay got shot. Did the Templars find him? If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen. Would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic yeah. experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come.
New York. We're in 1756. Look at that cat. Aw. Good to see you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Finnegan, was it? Sweet Mother Mary. Have we taken in the village idiot? Barry! Remember, Shay, I'm Cassidy, and this is... Barry! <laughs> You've been ill for weeks. Oh, no, that's hurt. not good. See? He's a civilized fella. Aye, for a clumsy deckhand. Probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? Oh, no. <sighs> They've come for him. That's a spooky painting. Wretch, how dare you! Shut up, woman. Oh. Leave her alone. Ah. What the heck? Now, what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you. No way. Fool. He can't fight like this. I was this. going to, but now you've made things personal. Time to die. Ain't no way. <laughs> Wait, is he better all of a sudden? Like, what is this? Oh, there's some mean right hooks. And don't come back. Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not Harmon citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. Aw, these people are awesome. I want to see the outfit that he gets, though. What does it look like? She said it was her son's. Don't you look a right, gentleman? Yes. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. Hey, oh, you know what you're wearing right now? The manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. My do. Do you not see the cross? Excuse me. But that's a Templar outfit that I am wearing. Their son was a Templar? Gang member. Look at this guy. He's doing a leap of face. You picked the wrong side. Actually, I picked the right side. Apparently, you picked the right, the wrong side, buddy. I think we can get him. You'll regret we got him. What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. My boss sent me over. Huh. And where is he set up? You can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building. Ah, I see it. I mean, the outfit's kind of dope, though. I'm not gonna lie. It looks nice on him. Gang leaders will hide and try to ambush you, but you can counter their attacks. Listen for whispers, which will reveal the presence of a captain hiding nearby. Use Eagle Vision to locate them via the danger compass. The compass will fill up as you get closer to your target. All right, that's new. Do not get shot. Yeah. 
Well, they gave me all my equipment back. Nice. I hear a whispering. Detected me. Enough. We shall return. Where's he going? Leave him. We need to recruit. What? Oh, there he is. That was interesting that he just like detected me. It was like a super random. But yeah, we're officially hunting down assassins and their gangs. Like what? What's going on there? The gang flag is up here. Is that like side quest that I need to do now? Take out gang headquarters. Liberate the city of the gangs. Yeah, look at that. It sure is kind of like forts. Oh, look at all that stuff. That will help us smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. Oh, really? And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Okay, let's see your actions then. Here. Reclaim what they have stolen. A hundred. That's it. Now let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. How so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream, he and I. That of making the world a better place. Mere survival is not enough. Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern, Master Cormac. I merely assist. Encourages his subjects to consider settlement in the Bahamas. Okay, we'll see that. This neglected edifice, Master Cormac. We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I've arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. Renovations are a major source of income. You need to acquire the necessary resources before performing them. What fine work. 
Okay, nice. I suspect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac. Okay, so real estate's gonna get me some money. Nice. I'll remember that. The Colonel strikes me as an honorable man. Someone who wants to do what's right. And he may have a point. With everything that has happened. With what I've done. I can't change the past. But maybe there's a future for me here. And maybe, just maybe, I can do what's right this time. I should head back to the Finnegan's. Let them know I'm fine. <laughs> But before we do that, let's do some exploring. Let's get this shanty. That's one of them. Shouldn't there be... Yeah, there's a viewpoint out there. Let's go get it. I can't believe I'm actually a Templar. We're actually going to play as one. You know, in Assassin's Creed 3, you play as hate them for a little bit. You don't know that you're a Templar until this section is over and they drop the bomb on you. But it seems like in this game, we're actually playing, playing as one. And we're going to be working with them. Giving us some more insight on what the Templars are like, I guess. Which is interesting because um, this whole time they've been painted in a bad light. And even though there's been some plot twists where it says assassins are kind of bad. It seems like we always get rid of the corrupt assassins and then ex protagonist ends up make, making it better or hopes to make it better. This could be one of the most interesting Assassin's Creed games. Compared to the other ones that we've played. I feel like this one in three intrigued me the most. But it makes sense that they would because, I mean, think about it. It's still the colonial Assassin's Creed game, and I really like the colonial Assassin's Creed games. I think they're really good. Assassin's Creed 3 was fire. And then Liberation was also pretty good. Liberation could have been better though. They could have explored the voodoo magic side of the game a lot more, which is what Hex might do whenever that game comes out. X definitely seems like it's going to be interesting.
When are those new Assassin's Creed games coming out? Do they even have release dates? Are we getting a new one this year? In 2024? I don't think they've announced anything yet. Ubisoft's been kind of slacking with games lately. Like, they just pumped out Prince of Persia, which is a good release. But that's not like a game that's going to make them much money. I think my problem with Ubisoft is that they, um... They've alienated their fan bases. They went through that weird phase that EA also went through where they thought that making stealth games and making like single player experiences aren't profitable. And I think people got kind of mad about that. And then ever since then, they've kind of lost the trust of their fans with the single player games. And then they sticked too hard to like one or two different series. So they sticked too hard to Assassin's Creed. I feel like they needed another game that was as popular as Assassin's Creed that could also like do the heavy lifting. And I think they thought that that was going to be Far Cry and Far Cry did do good for a while. But as you guys can see, after a while, the games start to fall off, right? And Far Cry and Assassin's Creed started to fall off right around the same time. I think Far Cry might have survived a little bit longer, but... Now we take a moment to remember General Edward Let's go in here. A long walk and a short drop. Shay, Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I, I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. <laughs> his name is Christopher Gist. And he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please tell Master Gist to join me there. Will do. Okay, I'm glad I didn't say Gist's name wrong. Because I thought I did. Here, I thought it was Gist. You're hanging a man in the Old Fort. Oh, it would be a shame to miss that. <laughs> Ah, uh, which one of you had that voice? Because you both look young and that sounded like an old lady. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, my darling. Sounded like she wanted to say bippity boppity boo. The firecrocker dart creates a commotion that just attracts everyone's attention is the perfect tool for creating a diversion. And we will do just that right now. It's this one. All right, let's see how this works. That's kind of cool. That guy up there gonna see me? Maybe. Yeah. 
somebody saw me. I was close. Shoot the rope. I think I can do that. Oh, you can blow up the barrels with the firecrackers? <gasps> They're killing him. Sure. But what are you doing here? Okay, wait, 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 wait. The current of sex me. He's getting Oh another one. Good job. Nope. He has no health, bro. Oh with like this Shoshi. much hell. Ran them right out of their own dead. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. The Morgan. What? What is she doing there? That means Hope is here, right? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait. I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. You have a full health bar, though? Keep your wits about you, Shay. Criminals are everywhere, and most of them look just like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. <clears throat> Stalkers hide away and try to attack unseen. You can fight them if you block their attack or use firecrackers to draw them out. You can also use the compass and eagle vision to point you to the closest stalker or captain. A stalker is nearby. Use eagle vision to locate the stalker. If stalkers see you first, they will attack. Tell you what. That's kind of cool. I shall find a new crew for your vessel in case you have to leave post haste. See, this is what I was wanting. I was wanting some kind of new enemy type. And they finally gave it to me. Aside from being born in Baltimore, much of Christopher Gist's youth is unknown. Although he had little in the way of a formal education, he was taught surveying and grew up to be a successful frontiersman. In the years before the Seven Years' War, Gist had settled in North Carolina and was a neighbor of the celebrated frontiersman Daniel, Daniel Boone. In 1751, Gist became a member of the Templar Order, which sent him to explore the country and present himself to the indigenous people in order to secure alliances and commercial lanes. In 1753, Gist accompanied George Washington to deliver a message to the French, demanding that they leave the Ohio country. This event sparked the French and Indian War, and Gist would continue to fight at Washington's side. Fun fact, Gist was part of the Braddock Expedition, which can relive for yourself in Haytham's genetic memories. Oh, so you can. That's kind of cool. George Monroe was born in Clonfin, County Longford, Ireland, to a Scottish military family. His father was Colonel George Monroe of Auchinbowie, who was famous for his victory at the Battle of Dunkeld in 1689. Fun fact, there's a plague or a plaque somewhere and it has his name spelled Monroe because it was created in the days before spell check. Uh, I get you. In 1750 or in 1718, Monroe joined Otway's regiment, the 35th Regiment of Foot, as a lieutenant. By 1750, he was promoted to the rank of lieutenant colonel. Seven years later, he was placed in command of Fort William Henry with 1,500 troops. Pretty cool. So what? 
What the heck? That's annoying. So long. <laughs> it came out of nowhere. I ain't gonna lie. I got those reflexes though. Oh, sh they throw throwing knives at you. That's annoying. There's one over here. I'm just going around killing uh, assassins. Oh, I see you. God. There's one sitting at that bench right there. Hey, yo. Now. God. I got you. I can guarantee you the guards do not care. Timber. Oh! Uh oh, girl! Oh, you tried though. Timber that. Don't give him the satisfaction of slipping away. Find him again. You saw what she did? I got a gas mask. There's another one up there. They're around somewhere. I think they're above me. You can't just leave, you know. Come back. You there. Stop the hour. Nah, there's not one up here. I thought there would be. Jeez. The way he just like locked on in midair. Oh. All right, I'm going to ask you guys since the game is kind of old now. Well, it's not old, but it's been out for a while. So I feel like it's had time to cook in people's minds. How is Assassin's Creed Mirage? Give me an honest review of it. Is it good? Bad? Let me know. I feel like people should be done with like the honeymoon phase of that game. So I think I can get some true input on it. She's a fine ship. And true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? Oh, no. He's long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. Welcome aboard. I guess so. <laughs> I don't have anyone else. I mean... It's not like anybody's sending applications in. As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. Albany. Splendid!
Okay, cool. Let's see if we can... I don't think so, because I don't think we what have any materials. But it doesn't hurt to check. Yeah, no. My thanks for your trust, Captain. Wait, I kind of want to buy something here. I can fast travel here. Yeah, I'm going to go to the weapon shop and see if I can buy something because I have a lot of money. So I might as well buy something before we leave. Excuse me. Also, thank you guys for being so patient with me on the Assassin's Creed videos, by the way. I know they've been coming out slower than some of my other games. But we're still working through them. I mean, we've completed so many games already. Like, we've definitely run Welcome. through them. What do I do with tobacco? I just sell it, right? Let's try to get something else. That one seems pretty good. This one's pretty balanced. I'm gonna get this one, even though it's like the most expensive one. My thanks. Return any time. I have to go out this door. Then we're not going to have to upgrade our sword anytime soon. It's probably a really good sword to have right now. Let's grab some of this stuff around here. Yeah, the Assassin's Creed videos have come out pretty slow the last couple of weeks. Ever since we finished Assassin's Creed 4, like towards the end of Assassin's Creed 4, I feel like I've kind of slowed down a little bit. I'm waiting for your instruction, sir. The bat the Batman fans were nuts, bro. I don't know what was going on for a, a, like a small period of time there. But man, they were coming onto the Assassin's Creed videos in Wrapping all, all, all over them. That was interesting. But the funny thing is, they all left once I finished Batman. <laughs> I haven't seen them uh, comment on anything recently. Because I uploaded Freedom Cry. Didn't see anybody mention anything about Batman on there. Yeah, the Batman fans were... Uh, it wasn't all of them. I'm not going to sit here and say like, oh, it was the whole fandom. It was just like a, a loud minority of Batman fans. Very loud. And uh, they were coming onto the Assassin's Creed videos, arguing with the Assassin's Creed fans, saying that like, oh, these games are trash. I don't like these games. I don't know if they were like trying to see if I was just going to have like some crazy epiphany and be like, oh, yeah, these guys are right. Assassin's Creed really is trash. You know what I mean? It's like, dude, I've already played like up to that point, but like six games. I'm obviously invested, bro. Like <laughs> y'all coming in here saying that these games are trash isn't going to change my mind on them. All right. Like I was, I was ridiculous. 
There's some more viewpoints around here. I think it's that building over there. There's a stalker around. Okay. Oh, oh, what the? Well, bye. Oh, no, there's another one. But yeah, that arc that I went through with the Batman games was it was funny. But uh, I think that's come and gone so we can kind of move on. Great games, though. Definitely enjoyed them. I noticed that the Red Dead fans are not like that, though. We've been playing Red Dead Re Redemption 2 recently, and they remind me of the Assassin's Creed fans. Like, really nice, really helpful. Very backseaty, though. I feel like the Assassin's Creed fans aren't as backseaty as the Red Dead fans. But I've been playing the game a lot recently. Uh, Assassin's Creed, so I feel like people don't really have to backseat as much. But, um... Ah! Bro, that's terrifying, bro. Like, this game literally turned into a horror game. Jeez. Yeah, the Red Dead fans are very, very awesome. So long. Oh, they're everywhere, bro. I'm getting bombarded. I'm getting jumped. Oh, that's nice. Elite. Oh, so that's how I get my blueprints. Cool. That's better than having to go underwater because that was really hard to do in Assassin's Creed 4. Okay, the stalker thing? This might be a little too obsessive. Like, if it's going to happen all the time like that, that could be a bit much. Like, it's a cool idea and concept, but, like, it could be overdone. Assassin interception. What? Did they get rid of the uh, one missions? Oh, you have to approach the pigeon slowly. Got it. Got him. Oh, that thing's so cute. The war veteran has hunted many assassins in the current conflict. His experience, leadership, and cunning have resulted in the loss of many of our brothers and sisters. Strike fast and hard, but do not underestimate him. So we're assassinating assassins. That's fun. That's a mix up. Yeah, we have to intercept them. That's crazy. The whispering is kind of spooky, though. There's one around. Oh, there they are. 
Oh, they attack in a certain time limit. Got you. Oh, I see you. I have to kill this guy. This is fun. Apparently they're going to attack soon. No, don't shoot me, please. Oh, this guy's getting attacked. Oh, no, he's not. But he's about to. I can't find them all. Oh, here's this one. They're approaching. There's one up top. I'm going to shoot you. Oh, no. God. It was like right when I was thinking about shooting him. All right. Well, we failed that mission. I'm going to have to try that again. That mission's kind of tough. It's not as easy as like when you're the assassin having to assassinate, like you're finding the assassins and you're like running around looking for them, trying to hear out for the whispers. It's an interesting concept though. I'm gonna grab this animus fragment up here. Ooh, the music is hitting up here. Ooh, synchronize. He's facing the wrong way. But it's still is synchronized. That's all that matters. There's another fort up ahead. We should do that, then move on with the missions. Oh! Missed it. Botched it completely. I thought that was Cardi B for a minute. I thought she said, ow. We are in New York. <laughs> yes. Let's go to this headquarters. Locate and kill the gang leader. Cut down the gang flag, kill the British traitor. We got you. Are you in there? No, you're not.
But you're up there, I do believe. Why are you just sitting there? That's so weird. Good job. Cut down the flag. Okay, he's over there. Hey, hold a moment, sir. Where do you think you're going? Hello. Jeez. It takes you out of the, the fight just to give you the cutscene. Is this like the major map that we're going to be... Coming to a lot. In all these games, there's always that one city. Uh, we gotta go all the way up. This definitely helped us get a little bit of money. Which is what I was aiming for. Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it, I guess not. All right, now we need to go down. Oh, oh, that's scary. Fall all the way down. I can do that. All right, then we're going to pretend that didn't happen. Ouch. In my sights, clear as day. Bro, I'm always seeing some clown stuff. I'm always running into glitches in these games. Even in Red Dead, I ran into like three glitches already. And people have called them all out. Why does this happen to me? Back to the Morgan. We need to get some materials. Oop, I think we need to go to the North Atlantic. I just accidentally hit A. Where is it at? Uh, we need to go here. River Valley. The Colonel waits on Albany. I wonder what he has in mind for us to do next. Us? 
I thought you just wanted to check in with Monroe. Not to sign me up for the army. Not at all, Shay. But I admire the Colonel's ideals and want to make them happen. What kind of ideas? Keep ahead, sir! Secure borders, prosperous farms, fair trade. We need those in these wretched colonies. Sounds like a high-minded utopia. It rather does. Want to help make it happen? Colonel Monroe is an intriguing man. And he certainly seems honorable. Right now he does. We'll head for Albany. After that, we'll see. Splendid. Full sail ahead, lads! The colonel could just be a really good salesman. Oh, look, that guy's fishing. Catch any good fish? A gold chain. Fire! Oh. Here's Albany. You should upgrade your ship before starting this mission. Even the game saying your ship sucks. Get good. Okay, I did some crafting and also upgraded the ship a little bit. I think we can do this mission now. In good health, I see. Yeah, thanks for the captain here. It is a fine vessel, Captain Cormac. Thank you, Colonel Monroe. Master Gist. Did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? Well, only that their base of operations is a French fort further downriver. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? Aye. Enough innocents have died already. Might I suggest Agreed. we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And you know, there's a French outpost nearby, I happen to know. I like the sound of that. I've kind of already upgraded the Morgan. But all right, we can upgrade her some more. Yeah. All right, let's sail there. What sort of business are the French up to there? Just occupying the territory? It is an economic incursion more than a geographical one. Some of the ruffians are sponsored by enemies of the colonies. They intend to undermine local authorities. I've heard they steal from civilians and resell essential goods for ten times the price. Oh, it's always the little that sounds familiar. Skinned. Not far now, Captain. Colonel, Fire. you and Gist here seem inspired. Is there something in the water? Or the whiskey? Taking, sir. Now, why do you say that, Mr. Cormac? I think Shay here is skeptical about our intentions towards our fellow man. <laughs> I understand of course. that there is no need. I simply want these colonies to be a place of safety, development, and purpose. Funny. I thought rich men wanted them to be a place of profit. Ah. I'm a rich man, Mr. Nature. Cormac. It's Money is a means to an end. Not an end in and of itself. Says you. I think it's a fine end to a Ducks, game of guys, cards. I think we cracked the spur. Can't be far now. Douse the royals and tops. Anchor ahoy! All right, here we are. There's wolves here and foxes. Oh, this is those warehouse things that we did in Assassin's Creed 4.
I forgot. Can you get more materials doing this rather than doing the going around and fighting a bunch of boats or ships or whatever? I don't really know. I think in AC4, I just ran around and destroyed a bunch of ships. I might have did a warehouse or two when I'd happen upon them, but I didn't go out of my way to find them. All right, let's infiltrate this place. I also bought new pistols, by the way. These ones are pretty good. The ones that I got. I had enough money. I feel like you get money really fast in this game. Ooh. Let's see who could possibly be the key holder in here. Maybe that guy right there. Felicien, j'ai une mission spéciale pour vous. Suivez-moi. Got him. No, no, no. Not gonna let him do that. Okay, now this guy's trying to ring it. No, sir. Good job. We did pretty good there. We got the warehouse key. That's what we came for. He screamed really loud. We could probably drop on these guys' heads here. Nothing. Got him. Tobacco, cloth, metal, wood. Eh, I would say. Eh. It's about the same as getting a, bo a ship. I think attacking ships is faster, to be honest. The chest must be below me. Uh-oh. Okay, nice. Grab this chest. Where are the foxes at? I need to hunt some. I need their pelts. Can I go up in here? I don't think so. Oh yeah, I can. I need that right there. Don't call the guards. Whoa. Hi. Oh no. It's the big guys. Oh no. Oof.
All right, what is over here? Oh, this is where the foxes and stuff are. Let's get them. There's a wolf. Uh. Oh, the rope dart can kill them. I didn't I had no idea about that. That's useful. Wow. That's the perfect way to kill them. Where's the wolf? I hear it. I just don't see it. Not going to worry about it. Okay. I just needed to kill a few of them. When we go back, we can kill some more. Here's one. Wolves you can find pretty much anywhere, it seems like. Like lynx and foxes, beavers. You want to kill those as soon as you see them. Alright, I don't want to overhunt. We're good. Now I have a new hunting method. Awesome. That makes up for the bow because the bow is really nice to use, but obviously we don't have one. Getting stabbed in the back like that has to be the worst way to go out. Loot it. Let's go. More upgrades. We're getting money super easily in this game. What is this? Cross River? Good show, Shay. Now let's use those materials to give the Morrigan more firepower. We will. More powerful guns? Oh, we need the mortar. Nice. Finally, we get the mortar. Cool. You have so many things that you can use. I've also used the burn oil. Oh my God. The burn oil is so fun to use. That fort and the defenders will tremble before the Morrigan. Captain at the wheel. Loose a trip. Your ship is in fine form, Master Cormac. That fort should offer little resistance. I rather hope the frogs offer some, else this will be a dull day. Never wish for battle, Master Gist. There is plenty around here for any of our lifetimes. Besides, if we find the fort's commander, the French will surrender, no? Indeed, that is a sensible strategy. But we will have to wear down the fort's defenses first. Otherwise, they will just dig in. Target change. Knock her down like a game of nine pins. Like a game of nine pins. Why does he sound like All Might from My Hero Academia? 
Awaiting orders, sir. It's a gunboat. No ship for us. Enemies firing. Fire. Take the hit, sir. That's their weak spot. Take the shot, sir. Fire. Fire. Okay, nice. Let's shoot a broadside cannon. I was scared that we would be too far away, but I guess not. I guess we did miss. This gun is so much better. All right, we got to go over on the other side now. Be careful. Let's get that loot. Oh, there's another ship out there. I didn't even see you guys. Let's go ahead and sink that one. That's really cool to look at. Are we going to have to infiltrate the fort like you do in Assassin's Creed 4? Maybe not. Maybe they got rid of that. Maybe we will. Oh, they did. We're still going to have to do it. I like how they they show you this like it's new, man. <laughs> I know it's a new game, but it's still like. Having to build your ship back up and do these forts all over again, again. That's a lot of work. Like I just did that. My jack doll was so good and I barely got to like use it once it was like super overpowered. Hello. Not going to let you shoot me. Good job. Hey, yo. Um. Oh, God. Drop me. Okay, throw another one down. That was a dumb idea. What? Oh. I thought he couldn't attack me because he was choking on the smoke, but I guess not. Become anonymous? Oh, one guy sees me. Not anymore. All right, let's reload. Oh, there's another guy. Why are you not fighting over there? Oh, you're here. It has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes. From Achilles. Bro, that'd be wild if we had to kill Etowali. Because he's an assassin. So am I. But maybe he's not here anymore. Oh, okay. What's your specialty? We could both just leave. Ah, but then I would Jeez. tell your brothers that you are alive. 
You have to kill me, Jay. Okay, this, this fight's interesting. I can't even break his defense. Just kill him. <laughs> I brought a gun to a sword fight. You are always good at your business, Shay. As were you. Tell me, what are you doing in land? Special weapons. Poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. Then may your final delivery be swift. Man. It's kind of sad that we had to kill him, though. He was actually really cool too. Le Chasseur was right. I I had no other choice. If the assassins find out I'm alive, they'll come after me. That's fine. Tell them to come see me. I think the French may have a stronger army, but I think the Royal Navy <laughs> Excuse me. Treasure down here. Let's go. We got everything here. That always feels good when you get all the little items. How long do you reckon the English and French have been fighting? Sim all right, what's happening on the Morgan? Yeah. I'm here. Talk While to me. While you were busy taking down that fort. I happen to stumble upon the treasury. You don't say. It was the damnedest thing. <clears throat> uh, well, in, in any case, amongst other things, I found maps and charts detailing various French trade routes. What are you thinking, guest? I thought perhaps we could use them to um, help the Royal Navy and fill our pockets. I stored these maps in your cabin, Captain, should you wish to use them. Oh, the fleet. It is still in this game. Why? Let's see how much they changed it. Louisiana. 25 minutes. That's not bad. Oh, we beat that quick. That one's eight minutes. Okay. I said I got an Aveline or Aveline uh, figurehead, which is kind of cool. Any materials? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right. The Colonel thanks and congratulates you, Shay. He has returned to New York, but you look troubled. Do Do you ever wonder if you're doing the right thing, guest? Right. If you chose the right path. I used to, my young friend, but not anymore. Not since I met the colonel. And what's the question? 
The French are entrenched in our territory. It's about time we root them out. Of course. You're right, Kist. Let's head back to New York. Aye, Captain. And with that being said, I'm going to end this episode of Assassin's Creed Rogue. That was a great episode. A lot went down. I cannot believe we are Templars now. We're out here helping the Royal Navy? Huh? That is nuts. Anyways, hit that like button if you enjoyed. Comment down below any tips or advice that you have for me. And subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the next video. Deuces. Hope will never die. Orale.